Hello, in this worked example, uh, we've got a 30 pound box with the dimension shown below. Uh, it's placed on a surface and that the angle of that surface is slowly increased until the box is either going to tip over or begin sliding. We want to determine which one's going to occur first and what is the angle at which it's going to begin to either slip or tip. Uh, we're going to assume the center of mass is in the center point of the box, so one half the width, one half the height. Um, so for this problem, uh, the first thing we need to do is kind of do the analysis, assuming slipping, and then do the analysis via tipping, figure out what is the angle at which either of those things would occur, and compare. So let's start with slipping. Uh, so for this, we have our box. And that box, uh, we're going to draw the axes. So X and Y is going to line up with the box itself. Um, and in this case, I'm going to have three forces at play. So I'm going to have a normal force. I'm going to have a friction force. And I'm going to have a gravity force. Uh, and that gravity force is going to be 30 pounds. Uh, the important thing dimension-wise or angle-wise in this case is that uh, so Fn and Ff are both going to line up with x and y, or, you know, y and x respectively, uh, but this gravity force is going to be theta degrees off of the y-axis. So what that theta is, is I, I don't know. I'm going to actually solve for that variable with my equilibrium equations. So next up, let's put together equilibrium equations. So with this, uh, I'm going to have sum of forces in the x, uh, and that's going to be uh, basically 30 times the sine of whatever theta is um, minus ff. Zero uh, in the y direction. I'm going to have um, Fn minus 30 cosine of theta is equal to zero. Since I'm assuming impending motion, I also can use the equation, uh, well, Ff is going to be equal to static coefficient of friction times the normal force. So 0.55 Fn is the other piece uh, to be able to solve this. All right, so I should be able to solve this. I've got theta, friction force, and normal force as my three unknowns with my three equations. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the y equation and solve for Fn. So Fn is going to be equal to 30 cosine theta. Um, next up, I'm going to take the x equation and I'm going to plug in this Fn value. So I'm going to have 30 times the sine of theta um, minus, uh, well, Ff is equal to 0.55 Fn, and Fn is equal to 30 cosine theta, and that needs to add up to zero. So now I've got one equation that only has a single unknown. So theta is the only unknown I have here. So I should be able to solve for this. I'm just going to need to do some uh, trig identities to make it work. So we'll jump to the next page here. Uh, and I'm going to start with uh, just kind of moving things to one side of the equation or the other. So 30 times the sine of theta is going to be equal to uh, point. 5, 5 times the cosine, or time, sorry, times 30 times the cosine theta. And I can cancel out the 30s. So we'll start by doing that. And then I'm going to bring the sine and cosine over to the left and leave 0.55 on the right. So sine of theta over cosine of theta is equal to 0.55. And if I know my trig identities, the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta is going to be the tangent of 
theta. So if I take the inverse tangent of 0.55, that will give me my theta. So theta is going to be equal to 28.81 degrees. That is the uh, angle at which uh, if I raise the platform up to that angle, I would expect uh, slipping to occur. All right, so we'll keep that in mind. Now we need to go to the second scenario and we're going to look at tipping. So for tipping, I'm going to draw my free body diagram over here. So same thing, I'm going to put X and Y lined up with the surface. Uh, and I'm going to have three forces. So the normal force, I need to make sure Fn is right on the edge this time. FF is at the bottom, and then the gravity force of 30 pounds uh, is in the middle. So this angle is still going to be theta, uh, and it's going to be 0.5 feet that way to the center of gravity and one foot this way. All right, so that's our free body diagram. Next up, we need to look at uh, the equations of motion. And in this case, I only really need to look at the moment equation. So I'm gonna take the sum of moments about point A. Uh, and if I do that, uh, I'm only gonna have the gravity force show up. Um, so this is the, if the sum of moments about point A is zero, it is about to tip over. Um, so I'm gonna have 30 times the cosine of theta. So that is the Y, basically the Y component of this. Um, and so that would cause a, uh, if I'm just looking at the Y component, that would cause a counterclockwise moment, so that's positive. And the distance there is 0.5. Uh, and then the x component, so the x component would cause a clockwise rotation, so it's gonna be negative. The force is 30 sine of theta. And then uh, the distance there is one foot. Um, so that needs to add up to zero. All right, so I can do a similar thing here. I've got a sine and cosine. I'm gonna do that same tangent piece that I had before. Uh, so if I say 30 cosine theta times 0.5, that's gonna be equal to 30 sine of theta. All right, so the 30s are gonna cancel out. Um, if I do 0.5 equals sine theta over cosine theta, and again, sine theta over cosine theta is going to be equal to the tangent of theta, uh, I can figure out that theta, uh, in this case, is going to be 26.57 degrees. And this is for tipping. Um, so this answers my question. So uh, I'm going to hit 26.57 degrees before I hit 28.81 degrees. So tipping occurs first. And the angle at which that will occur is 26.57 degrees. All right, so that's all I have for this video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.